okay guys welcome back in Korean Love IT so it is another video of AI so here is the part 2 okay so at this part let me show you what I did and after then uh, I will show you the how it's working so first of all uh, in last of video we created down the pawn C that he can chase us okay so now let me show you what I did first of all in the on C data I get the pawn C then casting my third person TTP player then I verify a dead variable or dead boolean data I just created here that dead but the but this date is our TTP player dead uh, boolean data it's been that I also had the same data in my TTP player which one I control that if he's dry he'll be uh, just you know uh, set a boolean that he's now a uh, die so he can't do anything else like here as you can see when he's die his health is zero he's die and he will set a variable that or boolean data that true that death so i also just verify that if our ttp player is dead or not then i verify in my our ai dead or not okay this one then if if we are dead so it's mean that we can't uh, our ai not don't need to cast us or follow us or do anything so for doing for stopping if we die so then i set a at here our custom event that fire stop it's been this that he can't fire anymore or he will be stopped all the stuff then at our death uh, in our death okay like when our ai is dead or not if he's uh, dead so he it's mean that he can't chase anymore so or do anything so if our ai die okay like uh, this one is for our ai okay that if he die so he can't do anything so for stopping this in the true section i just didn't do anything but in false section it's mean that if he didn't die he's now alive so he will be always set actor uh, location is uh, that our AI location he always try to look at us so for getting the locations I add a arrow in our at here like on the gun positions so at the gun position I add a arrow get the world location and also I get my TTP player locations and find it look at rotation and set with my actual rotation so what it will do is it's take our root uh, location and then he will be take his AI location and just combine them and set a uh, straight uh, location that where he can see us easily then will be set the actor then his go AI move to the pawn is ourself and the target is our TTP player okay so one is done I said that uh, that fire data active and AI is disable boolean data and daily after 0 0.2 seconds he will be loop type the same thing and verify it again okay so what does this fire uh, function do or our this custom data do this this will be active our fire okay like the automatic fire and i said my fire data into 0 0.11 to 0 0.13 and also i add a custom event at here that data that timeline with the looping okay so then i add verify again that if i'm dead or not okay and then uh, add a child actor in components okay that is our bullet the AI bullet then I get our arrow that for, from where our bullet should be spawned for uh, get the arrow get the world transformation connected with this and then I just plug with this to my sound system okay so I just make a simple sound system at here that I add a audio at here at the audio player will be play the bullet sound okay I have a bullet sound simply then I fade it and play this then I at the 0 0.4 milliseconds later he will be fade off this or stop the sounds and one is done I also add at here that uh, in event tick I always try to active our pawn sense okay like sometime our pawn sense will be not work like when you are chasing us okay like after or if he's chasing false he'll be sometime he'll be crash the pawn sense so for always active our pawn sense if he's uh, alive so i just gave this that on the if he's if he's dead or not if he's not dead if he's dead so he'll be deactive the our pawn sense as you can see if it's a new activist false it's meant that he's deactive we are deactive the pawn sense and then i stop activity movement of our character movement so it will be not be moved anymore then if it's false that he is alive so he'll be it's mean that he's doing any something so i always active the pawn sense okay 
this block is so much important for our AI make sure and also the true button so and one is at here this is the most uh, you know some very ugly but it will be very important part also that in the event we can play i just call the uh, sequence so the first sequence go at here that it will be said that the ai is true so it's been read out uh, this was, is now an automatic ai so he can do their pick a randomly location so for uh, randomly locations i add a ai move to and the destination is get actor locations get a randomly radius uh, and I set it to 50,000 and set it like this. Also, I get a one more variable from the AI verification that if he's AI, he also verify that he's dead or not. If he's dead, so he will be do nothing. If he's not dead alive, so he will be do this work. When it's done, I add a on success and on fail that a delay block on 0.2 milliseconds, it will be do the loop type verify the AI and the death. Okay. Also, I add one more function at here that. AI active automatic so why this add this function because let me show you what this is the function first so at the sequence I add one more pin and connect it with a set timer by function event and with uh, by value with 0 0.1 with custom event that do once and also add a reset button so it, it's complete so it will be verify again that he's dead or not and continuously do verify the again the AI is just looping this why this function because uh, sometime our AI when he chases and sometime if he's fail so he uh, failed to he will be deactivating our uh, AI okay you know that uh, we are falsing the AIs at here okay like if he see us as you can see if he see us uh, we are very, uh, disabling the ai so he, it's mean that he can't be picked anymore the randomly location so if it fails it's mean that our ai failed to see us so so what he need to do because already we fails the uh, AI so he need to again active this so for active I just said that a active but there is a problem if we active this our this time looping is will be not more work anymore because the he have he don't have any execute more so for again loop type and uh, like kind of like start the engine again we I add a simple a custom event that a again with block with just active this to do resets okay so because it's do once time and then he will be again reset it oh, and when is done he will be reset when he reset he will be do this again like he will be active our engine so one is our engine is active he will be then stop this uh, key so then it will be again that do the loop type work okay and at here i also add a speed control that get the character movement with the set with maximum speed that 500 and also i create a variable that health ai that is 100 and it is an integer value okay so one is done i just go in my dead data that on component hit so i add a simple box collision at here as you can see a box collision it will be verify that are we are hit our ai hitting with our bullet or not so i cast my bullet that player bullet then i get my health minus two and set the health in my variable so also i verify that if uh, my our ai health is more than uh, or less than zero or not if it's zero so it's mean that he's dead so he'll be do once time that he's dead and also the ai is false so he didn't do anything this engine start again and one is done he will be play the animation with the match that a randomly animation that some dead animation i just add three dead animation at here so with a random block so he will be every time he will be pick a random animations okay like some dead animation then i also disable the collision to block all two and uh, non collimination so we can go after the entire our ai we can go under of our ai okay so as the whole result we found like this let me show you what we found like if i hit the play and as you can see he will be shoot us when he active as you can see he, if he didn't see us he will be pick a random location but if he see us he will be as you can see he will be just try to shoot us always try to do something so just think that now we are shooting the ai then he will be die also let me show you as you can see if you just hit and he will be die and he will play animation so he is now dead he did do he don't do anything more because he is dead okay as you can see the collision is also disabled so we can go around of his body 
so i just hope you understand what is the next part too and in the next video we'll be do something more we'll be optimize our ai more we we'll also make it some more advanced so i just hope you like my video if you have any question you can comment us in my comment box i must try to give you a reply thank you so much for watching also if you have any question you can tell me in my facebook page uh, also in my telegram discuss chat group okay i hope you understand thank you so much for watching guys love you all and bye bye